guys, it's Zaley Barclay of ZaleyBarclay.com. Welcome to the Start, Shoot, Grow studio. I'm so happy to have you here. Today, we are talking about an awesome app that I use a lot in my business. I've gotten so many questions from you guys about, Zay, what is this app that you use to mirror your screen from your phone or your iPad into you know, a video or a course or a demonstration like you can use it for so many things so today we're talking about the reflector app it's an amazing tool that you can use for those purposes so if you're looking to create tutorials if you're looking to add your phone to videos if you're looking to create a course where you're teaching probably social media or something like that then this tool is for you. Now, I just want to let you know that this tool is compatible for Mac and Windows, but our tutorial today would be based on Mac because I just live the Apple life and I really love it. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure to share that. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this is because it's such a genius tool and I realize that not a lot of people know about it. And for me, it helped me cut down my workflow a whole lot. So before, if I did a screen recording on my phone, I would have to find a PNG and then I would have to place the recording inside of that PNG and then I would have to add that to my editor. And so I love removing steps. And that's something that I want to kind of take with you guys into the future of what I share on the channel, just making your workflows and your processes so much easier. So with Reflector, we are able to do just that. So in this video today, what we'll be discussing is how to actually get started with Reflector on your computer. So whether you're hooking up your iPhone or your iPad, I'm showing you exactly how to do that. The next thing we'll be talking about is aesthetics. You guys know I'm a sucker for clean branding. And so I'm showing you how to pull in your own colors, or just make your background clean instead of having, you know, whatever your messy desktop is, because listen, <laughs> we are not taking that into 2020. And so I'm also sharing how to use the interface of Reflector and how to really change your preferences so that it suits your content. Listen, we are all about quality content in 2020. It's easy to be lazy about content, but if people realize that you put a lot into your content, it definitely translates, especially when they're getting ready to buy from you. People want quality stuff, right? So I'm excited for you to get into this. Let's dive right in. The first thing that I wanna show you guys is how you're able to connect Reflector. And so what you want to do is make sure that the device that you want to use is connected to your computer. And then you click on Reflector. So you'll see the app above here, just like you see Dropbox and things like that. So keep in mind this tutorial is for Mac. And so what you'll do is you would make sure that you click on Reflector and I am just going to get onto my iPad because that's what I'm using for today's tutorial. And I'm going to make sure that I hit screen recording. So you have to swipe down that screen um, with the newer version of iOS. You swipe from the right side of your screen and it'll show up. So you'll see that you want to mirror to your actual device. So I'm using my MacBook Pro. And so that is what I am going to screen mirror to. Right, and so that's it, it's that simple. Now, if you have not connected the device before, what's going to happen is they're going to give you a code that you should enter, and then that would make the connection between the both tools. So this is pretty cool. And I always forget how to connect Reflector. All you have to do is do that swipe down and screen mirror so you share that with your a uh, MacBook Pro or whatever it is that you are using. Now you can see that I am connected and I'm actually showing you guys what that Reflector website looks like. Now I'm gonna dig into branding in a bit, but I just wanted to make sure you knew how to connect it. Now you're seeing an iPad because I'm using an iPad, but if I connect my iPhone, it will look like an iPhone, right? So it just gives you that clean look. And if I want that to be even cleaner, I'll make sure I have my branding color in there and that 
you know, you have a clean, clear screen. So the recording would take place on this background, which is just better for me when I am editing my content, right? So I don't want to see my face back there or messy files. Um, you know, sometimes my desktop is messy and I don't want to see that. So I'm using reflector to mirror, but also to make sure that I have a clean, clear and consistent branding within my content, especially if I'm creating courses, I just want to do things in a much cleaner way. So that's it for the uh, setup of the tool. So let's dive into that branding and appearance. So what I want to make sure that you do is when you click out of reflector, and so to get out, I will get out of full screen. And so now that I'm out of full screen, I'm back seeing the iPad and I'm back seeing my screen as well. Now to get into a great deal of the branding stuff, what you want to do is click on that app and it's yellow because we are connected. And what you want to do is head into preferences. So you'll see this gear sign and you head into preferences and you'll be able to change a lot of things in there. And so this is kind of like what I call the main interface of Reflector where I'm able to change things up and, you know, I love that. So you guys know that I'm a sucker for branding. I just like that clean, clear, crisp appearance with my content. And so what you're able to do is you can head into here and you can change this full screen background. And you saw before, this is one of my branding colors, but you can see the other branding colors in there as well. So it depends on what look I'm going for, but I'm keeping it light, right? Um, now you can also make sure that you're recording with the desktop background. And like I said, I would not recommend that. The other thing is that you want to also make sure that your recording background is what we see here because that can definitely be, um, you know, left to just, you know, the screen that, because that can definitely be left to the screen that you have here. So you want to make sure that recording and not only connection is that color or whatever brand color you choose to record with as well. So that's the difference. So connection means we see this color, but for recording specifically, you want to make sure that we see this color as well. So that's something you want to make sure that you do. One thing that I want to make sure that you guys do as well is when we click in to, let me just make sure that I have it here. When we click into um, that appearance, we can, so we've changed that color into our branding, but you can also change what type of tool we see. So we can use the older iPad. So you see that it completely changes or we can also change it over to an iPad Pro and you can change it around. It doesn't matter what tool you are using, what version of iPad you are using, it will fit your screen to that size, which is something that I really like and appreciate. And you can also change the orientation as well. So it depends on what you're doing. If you're using your iPad um, in a landscape orientation, you can change it. So if you're using your iPad in a landscape orientation, you can definitely change it. So you can change this around. Um, for me, I leave it as automatic. So if I move it around, it, you know, it changes, but I usually have my iPad laying flat whenever I am recording tutorials on it. So the next thing that I want to make sure that I show you is that I love using reflector because before I ever used an awesome tool like this, what would happen is that I would have to record, like screen record my screen, which is cool. You can definitely do that. Um, and then plug it into or fit it into something that looks like a phone using a PNG and then layer that into my editing system. And I, that was just a lot of, you know, work that, listen, why not just get a tool like this? It's only $15. You can see up there. I mentioned that before and it's, you're able to easily like so simple <laughs> just record exactly what your screen is so if you're looking to show someone something i think this is a really cool tool you know um whatever you're looking to do on your ipad let's say you're teaching your people about instagram you know you can get on here 
and scroll through. I recently recorded a full tutorial and, um, you know, people were asking, this is a tutorial <laughs> over here. People were asking, how did I record it? And it looked very much on brand and very much uh, part of what I love creating. And so I use Reflector app for that. I also use it to create amazing uh, modules inside of my online courses as well. So I want you to think about how amazing you can be using Reflector app too. Now, one thing that I want to make sure that you have said that so many times, but I want to also make sure that you have a good audio when you're recording using Reflector. And so that would be, you'll make sure that you are inside of the main interface of the app and that you are using audio, you know, not your MacBook audio. So if you're using a microphone for better, um, you know, I'll just change that right now because I'm actually using this microphone for this recording. But if you are using a microphone, you want to make sure that you change it so you have high quality audio directly into your your recording. And so that is something so cool too. Like you have high quality audio rather than just any and anything. Now, one more thing <laughs> is that you are able to broadcast using reflector but i don't use it for that purpose especially because i can't connect a high quality um camera to it so for that if i want to broadcast my screen share i use ecamm you guys know i talk about ecamm a lot and i'll leave some information on a full video that i have on ecamm down below in the comments or the description box, sorry. So I wanted to make sure to show you that you can input high quality audio in there and you can move around within your preferences, right? So this is your friend, your preferences is your friend for sure. And when you're ready to record your screen or take a screenshot, all you have to do is you can take a screenshot here. It will take that screenshot. So let's say you have an IGTV tutorial and you want to just take a screenshot um, that you can put as your cover. It's so cool. You can save it so you can see that it opened up here. Isn't that just amazing? Um, that's not it, but <laughs> this is a thumbnail that I was making, but this is it. So you can actually use it. And the other thing is that when you're ready to record, you just hit this button right here and it starts recording whatever it is that you want to record. So Reflector is such an amazing tool. Um, it took away a lot of steps in my workflow. You guys know that I'm big on workflows. So it took away a lot of steps in my workflow for branding, appearance, and all of that stuff. I no longer have to buy phone PNGs to make it look like a specific phone or any of those things. So I just wanted to remind you guys that you can keep things on brand and all you have to do is hit back full screen and then you're back into your full screen where you can you know, record with this background specifically, just keep things clean and cute and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There were three parts. So we covered today how to connect Reflector to your iPad or your iPhone. We covered branding and appearance because ugh, I'm a sucker for that stuff. And we also covered the main interface and how to use Reflector app to record your content. So if you want to know more about Reflector, I will leave a link down below so that you can learn more about this amazing tool. And if you have any questions, leave it down below as well. All right, guys. So you saw that tutorial. I want you to tell me what have you been using to do your screen recordings or your screen shares or your screen mirroring? Like, I know we can use different tools like QuickTime and things like that. But what I love about Reflector is that we actually get that phone or that iPad and that branding. And it just makes it easier to plug and play on your IGTV or inside of your tutorial for YouTube, right? So, let me know down below what you've been using. Have you used Reflector 3 before? Have you, you know, what are you using? I wanna know. You guys know that I like to interact with you and I wanna know what have you been using or have you ever had the reason to do a screen recording before? Anyway guys, I love you and I will talk to you guys soon. Please be sure to subscribe if you like this video and hit that notification bell down below so that you will always know when I upload. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.